I will dive into Eddie Pope's gaming header for the first ever MLS Cup. It is MLS Cup final time, and it is the 1996 version. The date exactly is October 20th, 1996. And not to spoil things already, but it was a doozy. The game was set to be played in everyone's favorite Foxborough. But the game actually almost got canceled due to a nor'easter that hit the area following Hurricane Lily. And sure enough, despite selling 42,368 tickets, only 34,643 showed up for the game. This game, as you can tell by still how people showed up, is um, still a massive deal. Big enough that the fire marshal had to come in and clear out the press box because it was getting too overfilled. The hype was here. MLS Cup Final 1996 was a big deal. So how did the game play out? Galaxy came out flying. Lots of chances early on. And that resulted in a goal for Hurtado just five minutes into the game. He put away a header on a cross from Mauricio Cinfuegos. And what's the only way that you can celebrate a goal in a waterlogged pitch? Well, it's by sliding face first into the quarter flag. DC did play a bit more into the game as the half went on, coming up with a few chances here and there, but not ultimately not being able to beat Campos. So when half time rolls around, the score is 1-0 to LA Galaxy. Galaxy came out in the second half much as they did in the first. A lot of control and a lot of chances. In the 58th minute, everyone's favorite RBNY manager, Chris Armas, doubled lead for LA Galaxy. Hurtado loses the ball outside of the box, but it falls to the foot of Chris Armas, who picks it up, dribbles past the four defenders, and slots it home for 2-0. At this point in the match, the pitch is a mess. The ball is barely moving. It is absolutely soaked. It looks miserable. It's partially snowing, partially raining. To score goals, it's not going to be easy. It's probably going to have to come from a lot of set pieces. And maybe that's a little foreshadowing because in the seven first minute, DC United get a free kick. Marco Echeverri lines up over the free kick, delivers it into the box, and none other than substitute Tony Sane finds himself open, heads it in, 2-1, game on. And this is where the DC United comeback begins. DC's potential comeback, though, was almost killed in the 78th minute following a cleared ball that lands to the feet of Kobe Jones. And in this instance, Kobe Jones is in the box with no goalkeeper in the net. And somehow Kobe Jones missed it. He shot it, it clipped the top of the crossbar and went out. For DC fans, bullet dodge, the comeback is still on. And then sure enough, in the 81st minute, the comeback was fully on. Again, another free kick for DC deep in LA Galaxy territory. Pops into the box by Echeverry. Campos comes up, punches it, punches it straight to substitute Sean Medved. Medved's first shot is actually incredibly saved by Campos, but the rebound falls right to the right of Campos, and Medved puts it over for 2 2. DC at this point has all the momentum, but the game ends up finishing 2-2 in regular time. Two 15-minute period and extra time, with golden goal being the rulings. If it's still tied after that, we go to basic MLS-style penalties to decide the champion. However, we're not going to need any of that, because it wouldn't take long for the game to be decided, as in the 94th minute, DC United win a corner. Marco Echeverri takes the corner, promptly delivers a fantastic ball into the box to find Eddie Pope, who heads it home, and wins the game and the championship for DC United. After scoring the goal, Eddie Pope runs off towards the sidelines. And if you remember from earlier, we get another head first slide in celebration of the game winning goal.